Hello, my name is... <laughs> that can wait. First, let me tell you a bit about myself. I'm prone to self-examination. Let me tell you that first. Yeah, I have to put on a facade, but you have to, don't you? People think I'm the life and soul of the party. This means I'm often very talkative and seem very funny. But in reality, I'll be detached. Like I'm just watching everything going on around me and feel utterly incapable of engaging with anyone. I've learned to protect myself, you see, by keeping other people at bay. Because in the past, I've been disappointed by many other people. But now, those around me, I keep them at my arm's distance because... No, there's no because. So I've learned to keep my guard up. I like to show a calm, self-assured stability. And because it's a self-created personality, it will create bouts of silliness. And I delight in my own extremes of behaviour. You know, for instance, I have a great sense of humour. Or uh, at least I think I do. I can make connections, if they give me the chance. <laughs> you know, sometimes my jokes are so quick, they go right over the head of others. Wow, I love it so much. I often find myself rehearsing silly voices or jokes in my head, just to be a bit spontaneous. But you know, there is part of me that hates it. Mm. Deep down, somewhere around the line, I'm worried that I've lost the real spontaneous me. Guess I was born out of time. It's okay though. I like being the outsider. Maybe that's because I felt isolated from certain groups in the past. So when I see one of my friends go off with one of them, or at least behave like they have, I feel, well... More like my own boss. But it's not great to over self-analyse like I do. I play conversations back and back, around and around and wonder what such and such a person actually meant by saying whatever it is they said in that way. Conversations others wouldn't give a second thought to. Maybe my overthinking is why I'm very creative. Sometimes in ways people just don't get. I have a picture in my head for how things should be in my life. My friends, my work, that others fall short of. And I often have to fight off the restraints of others who try to stop me from expressing myself freely. My parents? Dead. At least emotionally. Well, I get on okay with one of them. I want to like them, but there's just this... This distance is causing me some frustration. They don't seem to know it, but it's just... in myself. I guess my bedroom's a good illustration of my life. A box of photos. I keep meaning to put them in albums. Things that are broken that I've just not got round to throwing out. I'm a bit disorganised, but it's just down to a lack of motivation. I mean, it's not laziness. Nothing's laziness. Because I tend to be successful when I put my mind to it. It means I delay doing things or making decisions in case I make the wrong one. I don't want to go down that wrong road. I tried writing poetry. Maybe I could write a book. I think I've got a book inside of me anyway. I guess I could let people in a bit more, but there's a, there's a bit of darkness inside of me. When I make that connection with someone, or that one thing in life, it will change everything, and we'll be together. Forever. Yeah, I really believe in that. Until then, I'd rather be that person lurching from one extreme to the other, the one that tries and fails, than be the person who settles for what I've seen others content with. I guess I'm a bit like a conundrum, and probably much more interesting than most. Anyway, I was going to tell you my name. It's... <laughs>